Hi, it's Sam Robson Acker Lymphoma Lass here and today I'm going to show you how to make botanical art eco prints uh, without using any drawing skills or any special chemicals all I'm going to just use is the leaves themselves and a hammer and then on these ones I added a bit of gold watercolour paint after. So I've made these yesterday. Uh, this is from just a piece of white card, quite light card, light fitness. Um, this was a ready-made um, card kit with envelope and this one I, I made my piece on light card and then I added it to some cards and envelopes I had that matched A5 from Anita's Attic. If you're wanting to make quite a few, say all your um, all your cards for birthdays for the year or Christmas cards or whatever, or invitations maybe, I'd suggest buy a pack which has both the envelopes and the cards in so that they match. Oh, there's many a time I've managed to get cards and not the envelopes and then struggle to find a match. And I'll show you how to do this happy birthday as well. Okay, so I'm going to start with a light piece of card. And then I'm going to lay on it my leaf. It's an angle I've chosen. And then all I do is I put a piece of baking parchment over the top. I've got part of it leaving the card but that's fine. I'm quite happy with that. And then I'm going to hammer. So uh, you may want to turn down the volume on this. I'm going to give it a further hammering because obviously once you lift the leaf to see how you're doing it's a bit more difficult to get it in the right position after. Okay, so let's see how we've done. I'm going to just lift the carefully edges to see if it's taken. So I think that just needs maybe a bit more hammering. Um, yeah, 
needs a bit more hammering. So I'm just going to put you on pause while I do another few minutes hammering. So let's see what we've got now. I think I've given it a very good hammering. So we'll see. This is the moment of truth. There we've got it. It's quite light, but still quite pleasant. Um, so to accentuate that, I'm going to use some some gold paint. This this set I've got. Um, And I've already added um, some water to a couple of the, the deeper colours. So I'm going to paint round the edge of the card. I'm just going to pop the card on some toweling, kitchen toweling, to accentuate the white elements. Just a little bit of plant matter there. I'm going to use a good thick amount of, of paint to do this. This is just uh, metallic watercolour paints. There's various brands you can get. You might even find if you've got a set of watercolour paints. They've, um, they've got some metallics in them and uh, we don't often use them very much so this might be a great way to make use of them to make some greetings cards in terms of the leaf I've chosen I've tried to I had an experiment yesterday and I found that some leaves work better than others at this Quite green leaves, um, fresh leaves work better um, and you have to be careful to lay the leaves vein side down for the hammering to get the best effect because obviously I'm um, I'm actually um, the bit that's really showing is beautifully is for veins. So I'm just rinsing out my brush at the moment, and then what I'm going to do is use a. And I've used um. Uh, the red gold colour in this set. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a smaller brush to drag the paint inwards to the serrated edge of the leaf to give it more effect. I found the more gold I could add, the stronger I could add the gold, the more effective it looked when it comes to being a card. And it makes the white of the background that's coming round um, through where the leaf juices have come from the paper makes it stand out even better.
I've seen other tutorials where people um, use pen to highlight bits and you could do that. I just decided to make a very solid background to highlight it. You could do both. But the thing is you've not needed, I've not needed to use any drawing skills at all with this and very minimal painting skills. So I've just painted around the outside. As you can see there. So, putting that away to dry. And then I'm going to do another one. But this one I'm going to do um, with a firm. And I found these are particularly nice because um, the underside of the firm and the detail on the firm makes makes a very nice design. So it's all about positioning it to start with. And then um, how you want to position it. And then um, putting it as level as you can before you add your baking parchment. So at least the baking parchment helps you see through what you're hammering. So again, you might want to turn the volume down this, but I'm just going to start and then I'm going to pause um, so you don't have 10 minutes of hammering. been hammering along the main stem. So I'm going to pause for now, do a bit more hammering and come back to you. So, I've now given that a good hammering and let's see. This is quite experimental. You never really know how it's going to turn out till you lift it up. Um, but let's see. The big reveal. So I've really hammered some of it in, haven't I? I'm sure some of the ones I did yesterday, I didn't hammer enough. That's why I'm being quite careful with this one, to hammer enough. I'm just rolling my thumb across it to remove the plant debris. Try not to smudge it too much. But the thing is, because I'm going to be painting around the outside with gold paint, that uh, does mean it's. Um, risk of smudging is less. So this is a very simple form of eco printing or hand printing. great if you need to get something out of your system.
quite that's quite impressive really. And um, I'm now just going to add a bit more watercolour to this one. a bit of water to these colours before I started so they're nice and activated. So I'm using a bigger brush to fill the big areas. a smaller brush to go into the detail in a minute. I've done this kind of eco printing before with flowers like marigolds. Um, the darker, I think, the darker what the, the plant or the piece of plant material you're working with, uh, the better the print will come out. I'm actually really very pleased with this one. It just shows what taking the extra time when you're hammering it will produce. So, so I'm very pleased with how how clear this is, the print that's been created. Obviously you could take longer and more care in your painting than I am doing.
so there we have it. I think it looks um, that one looks quite nice actually. I'm quite pleased with that one. And I'm going to put that to dry. And then the final thing I wanted to show you um, was about um, making it into a card. Um, like this one. With happy birthday. So, I've got a card blank and an envelope that come as a kit. And um, I'm going to use one of the pictures I did yesterday because I know it's 100% dry. So the first thing I have to do is make sure I'm going to put the card, the piece of card that I've designed in the right position on the greetings card. Not too high, not too low, etc. And I'm going to use a ruler for that. And I'm just going to first of all um, get it positioned so that it's it's just about central. It doesn't have to be perfect. These are handmade cards after all. They're not mass produced cards. So let me just check it but so I'm about right there. I'm about and then what I want to do is I want to make sure it's set about the right height. And for me, that's about there. So what I'm going to do, because in a minute I will be um, putting some glue on the back of my bit of paper, produce my bit of card. So I need a dot where to put the lowest level. So. just going to put a dot there and I'm going to do the same position on the other side markings where I want this to go. Then I'm going to put some glue on, on the back of my piece of card and I'm using what we call in the UK Pritt stick, um, but a solid stick glue, any solid stick glue will do. And these work quite nicely. And if you want to really firm it up, what you can do is you can stick it and then put the cards under some under some books. Put plenty of glue. And this greetings card and also the um, card I've eco printed on is good for this because they're both mat. So I'm not going to get this problem of, um, of the, of because it's shiny it's not sticking. So then I'm going to just align it just about with dots and then I'm going to use my piece of kitchen towel Happy birthday. This is going 
going to be in this birthday card. So I've got these um, Anita's online outline stickers, and I've got happy birthday in this. So I'm going to put a tiny signature there. So I want to put the sticker here, and you just bend up the sticker sheet. Try not to distort the sticker too much, and you pull them off. The sticker sheet, and say try not to distort the sticker too much, you place them where works for you. Second bit to do. Which is actually the top bit. turn it around my way to be able to do it properly. Um, use tweezers for this, it might help. Normally they go okay for me. I know this doesn't look like it's going okay. sit down and then I'm going to just choose one of my fine liner pens from this set to initial corner and to write on the back And printed by Sam Robson, Echo Lymphomas. There we are. So I've got another card to, the, to add to the ones I've done already. Um, and uh, to send to some friends who've got holidays coming up. Um, and all I really needed was my trusty, trusty hammer. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you're having um, a great uh, end of summer, early autumn. 
and um, if you'd like to sign up to my YouTube channel and my newsletter, um, the links are on YouTube and um, that would be great. Thank you very much and bye for now.